Hello everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Happy Friday and happy kickoff to your weekend. I hope that you have great and amazing things planned to do this weekend. I have a ball game tomorrow morning. My granddaughter is playing softball. So much fun. And Sunday, we are having my grandson's birthday party. So yay, I do have some fun and exciting things going on this weekend. But I thought I would do a quick little update on how things are going in my little fitness slash wellness journey. So back uh, early in April, April the 11th to be exact, I had a doctor's appointment an eye exam. That's what I did. I had to go get new glasses and my Fitbit completely fell apart right there. And the, I, w I went to Target Optical and um, I got out of the exam chair, finished, completed the eye exam, was going into the other room, you know, where I pay for my eye exam and start looking at glasses. Everything in my Fitbit just fell all, it was like a whole trail of like little pieces. I was like stunned. I had no idea what was going on, but um, I did finally get that replaced and have me a brand new little Fitbit. Mine was a Versa 2 and now I believe this is a 4, Versa 4. I only have 3,290 steps today and it is 11.47 a.m. So yeah. I gotta get busy here in a little bit, but I am working right now. I'm just taking my lunch break. Um, wanted to do an update, so that was it. New Fitbit, and my last official weigh-in. This is my little weight tracker. Uh, I weighed in at 258.1. Ooh, so that was down 3.8 pounds from my prior weigh-in, down 20.3 pounds since I started tracking this on October 1st, and that was when I was having some pretty scary, pretty serious health issues. And for a total from my initial weigh-in, since I've been tracking it through the Omada app that um, is provided by my health insurance through work, my initial weigh-in was 283.5, so that put me down a total of 25.4 pounds. So I'm working on it. I am working on it. I'm working on it. Now saying that I did kind of injure my arm. I injured my right arm and about two weeks ago and for probably the better part of a week, I, I couldn't, I couldn't laterally lift it at all. I, like I couldn't lift it away from my body. Um, there was a lot of pain. I think I just like, I think because I hadn't worked out in a really long time and then I was just kind of trying to push myself. Um, I, I think it might've been just a little case of Dom's delayed onset muscle soreness, but it was a little more than sore. I did have like really sharp pain. I don't believe I pulled a muscle, pinched a nerve because it, it did resolve on its own after about a week, but I mean, some people say you can't overtrain. Some people say you can't overtrain. All I know is that I did weights back to back two days in a row. And the next day I felt really sore. And by the second day, I couldn't even move my arm. So I don't know, call it what it is. I don't know, we'll just say it happened. But it's resolved now so I got to get back to work working out so really the only thing I've really been able to do is walking and uh, so there was that I had a little arm injury but you know you just have to adapt and overcome right and I did and I am and so it's ready to get back to work now final thing I kind of wanted to share this is something completely brand new to me. Now, I am not a big advocate for subscription boxes. I have done them in the past, like I've done Ipsy and Birchbox. 
maybe a couple of us, oh, I did the bark box for my dog once. But the thing is, is like, I did them for a while and then I stopped. Um, and so I haven't used any type of subscription boxes in quite a while. But you know how Facebook is. If it's not Facebook, people, I know a lot of people I hear about people are addicted to, addicted to the TikTok shop. Luckily for me, I don't spend enough time on TikTok, so I ain't giving into that yet. But I'm old school. I'm just an old Gen Xer, and uh, I still look at Facebook. That's still my main. Well, Pinterest is my main social media that I scroll on. But as far as like, you know, the social social medias, Facebook is pretty much where I stay at, and um, they always have these advertisements. You know, these these smartphones and these social medias, like their algorithms, sometimes they're too smart. I can look up something on my, my computer, which is not an Apple product, so it's not attached to my Apple account at all. Or I can look up something, show somebody something on their phone, and I will get on Facebook, and the first thing I see is an advertisement for the thing that I looked at not on my Apple iPhone. So it's a little bit scary, but hey, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, um, during this time prior to my little arm injury, when I was working out a lot, I saw this advertisement for this subscription box. And with this code, you could get it for like half off. So I was like, okay, and cancel any time. Now, see, that's my thing. I always have to make sure that I have that canceling time, uh, you know, to fall back on because some of these subscription boxes are expensive, you know, like $40, $50 a month. Like I'm, I'm not really looking to do that right now, but this one was half off and I thought, well, let's see if it's worth it. Cause I don't know, could be, might not be. But anyway, I'm giving it a try. And so it came in the mail today and here it is. It's called the lift box. And all I've done literally was I cut the tape where it's opened. I uh, haven't taken anything out of here yet. I thought I would do a cute little unboxing and share it with you. So we're going to open it up and does join the box crew Facebook group. Oh, so they have a Facebook group. There you go. Facebook. That's where I found them. Share, post, and lift. And so when you open it up, that's what it says. Here's everything all packaged in the box, all neat. So we're gonna go through here and see what we have. So the first thing we have is something in a little bag. And it says a women's t-shirt. Oh, okay, so I love shirts. Oh, it's blue, a little blue t-shirt. And oh my gosh, look at this. It's <laughs> it says shred season and it's a little skeleton with a surfboard at the surf. That's hilarious, shred season. I'm actually getting ready to go down to Florida to the beach in like two weeks. We're going down for Jeep Jam at Panama City Beach. So guess what's going with me? I love it. And so on the front, there is just this little, little barbell. Oh my God, that is so cute. Um, so that's my shirt. <laughs> I think it's cute. And then there is like snacks and stuff in here. We have Chasing Dreams Farm, Crunchy Cheddar Puffs, Gluten-Free. Oh, that's good. Corn-Free, Nothing Artificial, Cheddar. Can I tell you, I love me some Cheetos. I love the puffy Cheetos. I love Cheetos. So hopefully this will be a good substitute. I think this is supposed to be what this stuff is, is like, you know, healthy foods. So corn-free, gluten-free. Made with avocado oil. So let's see what it says here. One bag is a hundred calories. I can't read. Uh, five grams of fat. 190 milligrams of sodium. 
10 grams of carbohydrates and two grams of protein. So, I mean, I don't know. I'd have to compare that to like real Cheetos, but it's gluten-free, so we'll have to give that a, a try. Now we have, what's this right here? Blue ice pre ooh, pre-workout. It's called Stimulate 2.0, and it's called Blue Ice is the flavor. And it's a pre-workout, so let's see what we got here. One pack, um, beta alanine. Yeah, I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what these things are. Green tea, leaf extract, and some caffeine. Anyway, we'll have to give it a try. So we got that. Oh, we have some more of these. Stimulate 2.0 Sweet Cherry. So we have a cherry. So we got some pre-workouts. Uh, we got this right here. Oh, that little hydrate. Little hydrate thing. Uh, it is Elite Hydration. Watermelon, zero sugar. I guess that's for when you've been out there sweating. I've not been sweating at all today, so I don't definitely don't need that. Uh, ZZ's Soft Bake Bar. Campfire S'mores. Oh, that sounds delicious. Um, nut free. It's vegan, dairy free, whole grain. I don't know. I mean, is it good? Is it not? I don't know. I don't want to open all this stuff and just to try that right now. I will try all this stuff and then I will circle back around and come back and like tell you if they're good or not. Oh, I don't know about this one now. Sweet, sour, zingtastic, crispy green, pina picante, cocoa chili. I'm not gonna pretend that I know what that word is. Tamarindo, I don't know. Spicy dried pineapple, no sugar added. I don't even know what this is. What is this? Using food as a force for good. Um, it's dried pineapple. It's dried pineapple is what it is. So, I don't know. That'll be interesting to try. I don't know. I'm not sure. Chili and picante, pineapple. I don't know. It sounds sounds interesting. Oh, and here is some protein, like a protein powder. So I wonder if this is chocolate mousse, which is great. Easy to digest, high muscle absorption, full amino acid profile, and third party tested. I don't know what all that means, but let's see. 25 grams of protein, 140 calories, four grams. Again, I can't say of carbs. Oh, that's, that's low carb. Three grams of fat. So let's see, is a serving one. It says add one full scoop to eight to 12 ounces of water or milk. So I wonder, a serving size is one stick pack. I guess this whole pack is one scoop, I don't know. Uh, again, I'm gonna try that out. I'm not working out right now, and I don't know if I have plans to work out today, so I don't wanna open all this stuff until I know that I'm ready to try it. Then we have another little bar here, a bonk breaker, real food energy bar, peanut butter and dark chocolate chip. Hey, they're just speaking my language now. GMO-free, dairy-free, plant protein, gluten-free, um, I don't know. I'll have to give that a try. It sounds good, but you know. And then what do we have here? A roll-on rapid cooling muscle relief. Heats and cools. Where was this at two weeks ago? Y'all, I could have used this. Um, but yeah, I got it now. So when I get back in the gym, We'll see. And then we have this huge drink. What's this? Clean, organic, was that Euromate? Euromate? I don't know. What is this? It's 160, it's 160 gram, micro, milligrams of caffeine, 90 calories, uh, non-carbonated beverage, 
Oh, it's a lemonade and tea. So it's like an Arnold Palmer. Okay. Lemonade and tea, naturally flavored, organic, Yerba Mate beverage, caffeine. Oh my God. And now, and now they're appealing to my heart. The cause, it's a cause. It says clean cause. 50% net profits support addiction recovery. Ah, oh, I love that. So, I guess it's a tea. It's only 90 calories. It's 22 grams of carbs. No protein. But, it's a non-carbonated beverage. Organic lemonade and tea, I guess. Um, hey, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you know more about it than I do. I'm just literally opening the box right now. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in here. Um, let's see. What do we have here? Here's another little hydrate. And this one is lemonade. A lemonade hydrate. So, again, I don't need those. I'm not sweating yet today. And I don't know if I'm going to sweat today. I don't know. I'm working on it. but. And then there's like this little book in here. Headlines over sidelines. Inside the Mind and Miles of Ultra Runner, Andrew Glaze. So it's like a little, um, I guess a little, little mini magazine. Um, these are their sponsors, the Chasing Dreams Farms. That was the, the little Chico's. Wait, was that a coupon? No. Yeah, there is a coupon. I only get one free. So if I like them, I'll have a coupon. Uh, trending articles, some articles if you want to pull up and read. Oh, so the article on Andrew Glaze is scan to read the full article. So it's like a little mini, mini version, like a highlights, little highlights, a summary of their, um, website, I guess. Um, deals, deals on the monthly live box, a live box snack edition. Okay, so anyway, this was my this was my trial uh, of the lift box. Will I like this stuff? I don't know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna um, you know, I'm gonna be open minded and I'm gonna give it all like an honest try. And then as I try the things, as I try the things, I'm going to kind of get a little film action going and. Uh, give you my honest, raw, right there in the moment um, opinion. Now, these I'm excited to try. These I'm a little, little nervous about, but I will. I love pineapple, but there's, um, I love pineapple. I see some coconut there, which that could be the cocoa, coconut instead of like you think of cocoa like chili, like <laughs> cocoa, like cocoa, like chocolate. So there's pineapple and there's like a little chili there. So it must be like some kind of, I'm guessing, I'm guessing. I don't know, I, I don't know anything about these things, but I'm guessing like a little dehydrated pineapple with some kind of seasonings on it. But I'm gonna try them. And honestly, the shirt, man, this shirt is just, this shirt is the highlight of my day. It really, truly is. This is definitely going with me to Panama City Beach in two weeks, for sure. I love it. Shred season. I love it. I don't surf. I've never been on a surfboard in my life. And quite frankly, I'm kind of terrified of the ocean because mm, I'd say a solid 98.99999% of anything in the ocean will kill you. But I love the ocean. I love the beach. I love to be down there. And I would move back to Florida in a heartbeat if I could. But anyway, I can't. Um, so anyway, thanks for <laughs> taking a little bit of time today and uh, sharing um, your time with me. And while I share with you my update on where I'm at and sharing this lift box. Now, will I stick with this? subscription can't tell you I, i'm gonna have to try all these things out and see because quite honestly if i don't 
like or enjoy anything from this box, but the shirt, then of course not. It would not be worth anything to stick with the subscription. <laughs> but if I like the stuff that's in there, I enjoy the little snacks and the proteins and all the good stuff, then sure, I mean, I will consider. It depends on how much it actually is minus that discount code because, you know, I, hey, I'm a girl that lives paycheck to paycheck and so I'm always looking for a budget and a deal and if this ain't a deal or a budget friendly purchase, then I can't commit to it. So, but anyway, with that, I hope that you have an incredible day an amazing weekend and thanks for taking just a little piece out of your time to spend with me and I will catch you on the next one.